undercover filming by The Guardian has helped identify how temping agencies use tax avoidance schemes to deprive the government of hundreds of millions of pounds a year. This man's a financial consultant. OK, so there are a number of people on the marketplace selling the same model that we're selling. He says the scheme he's selling us is completely legal and can potentially save our agency big money. All I can do is explain to you what our product does and it's right for some businesses and it's wrong for other businesses and like I say I've sat where you're sat and you, you know you make your own you make your own judgments and decisions on that. All I can do is present to you the case that what we're doing <coughs> is effective, it works and it complies with all of the laws as they're currently written. But does it comply with the law? Here's how it's supposed to work. Let's take a warehouse which has a thousand temporary workers. The workers are employed by an agency which supplies the warehouse. As the employer, the agency can claim a one-off £3,000 employment allowance every year. But by creating 500 companies, which each employ two people, the employment agency can still supply the warehouse with its workers while claiming 500 lots of the employment allowance. Instead of £3,000, the agency will make £1.5 million. But that's not all. These small businesses can claim a VAT break too, another big money spinner. But is it all ethical? I never like to comment on morals because everyone's moral compass is different, isn't it? Last year, HM Revenue and Customs issued a warning about a similar type of arrangement when they said that anybody promoting a similar scheme needed to notify them first. So does our salesman think that his scheme is any different? Is there a marked difference? Well, the overriding principle is the same, but as with all of these things, the devil is in the detail. It quite clearly says that there's a difference between doing it for the purpose of not getting taxed and doing it because it's an attractive um, tax option, but, um, but get, getting a benefit out of it. Uh, by proxy almost. In recent years, the government has been trying to crack down harder on tax avoidance. They brought in GAR, the general anti-abuse rule. But our man says that that doesn't apply to his scheme either. We've got a series of commercial transactions, all of which have got signed legally binding contracts binding the parties to do what it is that they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The advice that I've got is that, at the moment, nothing that we're doing falls under, the, under GAR, under the general, general mm -hmm. anti-abuse rule. So nobody seems to be telling HMRC, but are the employment agencies notifying the businesses where these workers end up? I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to run your business. I've got customers who intimate to me that they've literally said nothing to their customers and just taken the extra margin. I've got clients that haven't told me what they're doing and I don't ask because it's none of my business. 